In our next episode, Gimmick Grubby and I fly the airship to the hard-to-find city. But we have some unexpected adventures along the way, including a crash landing in the middle of the Great Desert and an earthquake. We almost lose Grubby. Gimmick thinks of a clever plan to save us, but then we meet some very strange creatures made out of mud, all in our next exciting episode. See you then. Last time, Grubby and I set out to search for the lost treasure of Grundo and met the kindly old inventor, Newton Gimmick. We didn't know that the villain, Tweed, was watching us all the time. Our only clues to the treasure's location were a medallion and a map. LB the Bounder stole our map and replaced it with a fake one, which led us the wrong way. We ran out of fuel and were just about to crash. Please stay with us for our next exciting story. In our next episode, we promise Prince Aaron that we'll help him rescue his sister. We run out of water and land the airship at a waterfall where we meet the great Wooly Watson. Wooly offers to lead us to the Wizard of Grundo, but we get waylaid by Grunges. We accept the Grunges' offer to stay for lunch, where a special magic suit evokes a strange effect on Prince Aaron as he turns into a terrifying Iron Warrior. Please join us for our next exciting story. In our last episode, Gimmick, Grubby, and I crash-landed in the Great Desert, where we were caught in a huge earthquake, nearly losing Grubby. Then we really did lose Grubby when we were captured and imprisoned by strange creatures called Mudblumps. We escaped with Prince Aaron, but we still had to get Grubby out. We scared the Mudblumps with bright light and flew away, still followed by Tweed. Find out what happens in the next episode of The Adventures of Teddy Ruxpin. Join us for our next episode when we journey to the house of the Wizard of Grundo, a very powerful and mysterious individual. The wizard tells Prince Aaron that his sister is being held captive by fierce Gatang warriors in the hard to find city. We make our way to the city and sneak in without being seen. But the Gatangs have the princess locked up in a dungeon and we need a plan to get her out. That's all in the next episode of The Adventures of Teddy Ruxpin. I hope you'll be there. During our last story, we promised Prince Aaron that we would help him rescue his sister. We ran out of water and landed near a waterfall where we met the Willy Watson. He offered to lead us to the Wizard of Grundo, but on the way, we met some Grunges who insisted we stay for lunch. The Grunge's special suit had a strange effect on Prince Aaron, and he started a fight with Willy, and the two of them fell off a cliff. Join us now for the next episode in our exciting adventure. In our next story, our search for the missing Princess Arusia leads us to discover the long-lost treasure in the temple of the hard-to-find city. We find more than we bargained for as the Katangs discover us, and we barely make it back to the airship in time. Just when it looks like we'll be safe, we find out just how fierce those Katang warriors really are. Join us, please. We might need your help. Hi, my name is Teddy Ruxpin. Last time, we ventured to the house of the Wizard of Grundo. He told us that Princess Arusia was being held prisoner by fierce Gatang warriors in the hard-to-find city. Just as we were about to take off, Gimmick insisted we stop to help an old lady. We didn't know it was Tweeg. Then, disguised as Gatangs, we found the princess. But now we have to find a way out. Stay tuned for our next episode. In our next story, we're off on a chase to get back the crystals that Tweeg from us. You'll meet Tweeg's mother, Queller, the Supreme Oppressor, and a lot of other monsters and villains. So please join us as our next adventure takes us right into the very heart of Monster Headquarters, right here on the adventures of Teddy Ruxpin. In our next episode, Queller, the Supreme Oppressor, has two reasons to throw a big party at the Monsters and Villains organization. First, to install the stolen crystals in the war room ceiling, and then to install Tweeg as an apprentice member. All the most important Monsters and Villains will be there. Then we have to figure out how to get the crystals back right out from under their noses. It's one of our most exciting stories yet. I hope you'll join us on the adventures of Teddy Ruxpin. 
In our last episode, we had trouble with the compass aboard the airship and blew out to sea. But Twig and LB were watching us from the bushes, hoping to steal the last crystal. Grubby tried to make a big wave for the grunges with some disastrous results. Then we fooled Twig with a piece of salt that looked like a crystal. Now we're following him to Mavo. Stay with us and see what happens next.